Welcome back. Super excited, very important lesson. In this lesson, I'm gonna demonstrate how to work with components. So in Figma, components are very powerful. And once you master the art of actually working with components, your app design is just going to fly. And you will be designing and creating these apps basically, or designing these apps rather, in no time. So let me jump right in and demonstrate show you the ins and outs of what components are and how do we actually use them. So by the time we actually start developing our first app or so you can understand exactly how the components work. So I have this file open here. A couple of things already exist on the canvas that we've done in the previous lessons. So here I have this button that I created earlier. Okay, You can always create a new button or whatever. So for instance, this button right here says click here. Okay, Fairly straightforward. We've done this before. So let me go ahead and in fact bring up my frame tool and go to my design tab and I'm just going to place for instance let's say the Galaxy S8. Okay so this frame is going to be now placed on my canvas area and I'm simply going to drag the button on top of the Galaxy S8 frame while designing your app screen, right? So for instance, let's say we're just doing a basic getting started screen. That's your first screen in your app or a splash screen and whatnot, okay? But you get the idea. So let me in fact make it a little prettier by inserting an image. So that would kind of make sense, right? As we develop more and more apps. So let's choose this background, click open, okay? And make this smaller first and simply create the background bring to front so that my button stays in the front here. And I'm quickly also going to create a rectangle tool here for my menu bar. And just give it a quick color so we have a color to this. Okay, well, maybe I can change it to blue. Oh, that looks better. Perfect. So you get the idea. So I'm going to select my button and place it right here click here. So you get the idea, right? So I'm designing my first splash screen. I'm not going to do the whole thing because we are going to take a look at it in several lessons. But here, the important thing is working with components. So let me make it a little bigger so you can see. There we go. So once I have this button, okay, let's say I would like to design a new screen. Obviously, when users click on this button here, they will be navigated to the next screen within your app. So right now, this is just the first page of my app design. So let me get rid of this vector box here, we'll move it aside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, select all of these and just kind of move it on the side here so you'd actually see how components would work and what are components. So once you have this first page for instance and you have this button here, what happens when you create a new page? So let's say I like to duplicate my page here. So I'm going to select all of these layers, right? So you could select all of these layers by clicking on simply the Galaxy S8, or you can drag to select all of the objects on the screen either way. If you were to choose and select just the text, it will just select the text here. So it's easier that way also. So a couple of shortcuts here for you guys. So for instance, if I need to select all of it and just do a control C and control V, it's going to take it to my next screen. So now I have two screens. Let's do another one. So I have three screens. Okay, perfect. So here's the idea. You have these three screens on your app design, right? So it's your splash screen, maybe your home page, and then your products page or whatnot. So I have same buttons. I like to display the same buttons on all of the screens. Well, typically you would just edit this one button for example if I need to change the text of this butter let me zoom in a little bit here okay there we go so I have these three buttons what happens when I change the text of this button so I highlight the object here and simply navigate to my text and change the text to let's say with rest this is the font type so once I select this, notice it changes the font of the text on the first, but it doesn't really change on the other one. What if I have, let's say, 20 different screens on my app design? 
you know it doesn't make sense for me to go to each screen and change the text or the object so let me undo this this is where components come into play very powerful tool okay so now that I have let me undo this perfect so you, you follow the idea right so if I want to change something anything on the screen whether it's the text or the object itself or the color whatnot it should reflect on all of my other screens within my app design and this is helpful because if I have let's say the whole menu created on the first splash screen because you want to show the menu on every single screen on your app components will be helpful and that's the way to go so components are found on the top menu bar he says create components that's the control alt k shortcut key so this is what is called the component and this is how you're going to use it so for example if I need to change the text in all of these buttons on my app design for example so I'm going to go ahead and first select the entire button group because I want to duplicate the entire button as it is and click on create component so once I do that it actually creates a component for my button here and notice it's still the button group right because I've grouped up on top for my button and text so once the component is created I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it actually works so to do that let me first delete these because we don't have these you're gonna start off with actually creating a component then you're gonna hold the alt key down on your keyboard okay so that's the alt key on your keyboard make sure it's pressed and you'll notice that your cursor changes into two arrows right so this is how you would simply drag to duplicate so once you've duplicated this let go do the same thing for the next screen so very powerful okay so this way you can actually copy objects and move objects so that they're part of the same component so components again are very powerful when you actually start to work with them now what happens once you've created the component first you create the component and then you copy these objects on all of your screens let's see if I change the text what happens so I'm going to select my text here and this time I'm going to change the type to read rest and voila notice now you have all of your buttons reflect the same text okay so this is what a component is guys very powerful very important same thing you can do it with your menu so you create a menu let's say you create the top menu you create some text you create some buttons and all of those can be part of a component and within each component recall from one of our earlier lessons are instances right so for example this component the button here has a rectangle right with rounded edges a background and some text so there are a couple of instances or three instances part of this component so once you copy the component using the alt key on your keyboard it copies so now if I change anything regarding this button it is going to follow through with all of my components so notice if I expand the square here the button size it automatically adjusts the button size for all of my other screens within my app design same thing with my text if I need to increase the text notice it increases the text very powerful so as a homework practice working with components and practice quite a bit with this very important so I hope this helps and let's move to the next lesson